Thanks for joining us here in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. I'm Molly O'Brien. I'm pleased to be with Ethan Gilsdorf. He's a writer. How are you today? I'm well. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us here. So Ethan is a Providence-based writer, journalist, author, and creative writing teacher with Grub Street. You've been published in the New York Times, the Boston Globe, on USA Today, Esquire, CNN.com, Wired, and a million other places pretty much. A few, yeah, here and there. <laughs> you look at his bio online, it's like, all these places. So congratulations for oh, all of you. your hard work thank of being you. published. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about, today about Grub Street, which is this um, really neat um writing organization it's really well known a creative writing institution um, it's based up in boston and it's really renowned and you've been an integral part of bringing it to providence so been around for a couple months right in providence yep. and continuing to expand it so talk to me a little bit about grub street you've been part of it for some time yep. talk to me a little bit about the organization and then we'll get into bringing it to Providence. okay great so grub street is a nonprofit writing center which means that it's uh, open for anyone who wants to, to, to come and take classes with us. We're not affiliated with any kind of university. You don't have to, you know, be part of a degree program. And it's been based in, in Boston for, well, this is our 20th year. So first of all, shout out to Grub Street for making, yeah, it, awesome. making it as a nonprofit, um, you know, educational institution for 20 years. And, you know, we've been offering uh, classes in poetry and writing your novel and writing your memoir, uh, writing your screenplay for all these years, and um, I moved to, to Providence a couple years ago, and, and I thought maybe there's an opportunity to bring some of the amazing work that you know I've been lucky enough to be part of in Boston, bring it to Grub, bring Grub Street to Providence, um, and see if there's an audience for creative writing classes um, here in Providence. So we've begun to to you know sort of a pilot program of offering some classes this past fall um, at uh, an organization called School One, which is a a local uh, private uh, college prep high school over on the east side, and uh, they've been kind enough to let us use their space in the evenings. So we're running classes on Monday nights, and we have another set of classes um, that will be starting up at the end of January in a variety of different genres. Um, and our message is basically uh, writing is creating community, writing is about inclusivity, and allowing as many people out there who want to tell their story, whatever form that story takes it, that form in, uh, to, to come to our, our classroom and we'll teach you the, the craft of writing and we'll provide support and instruction and community and make people feel like you know their stories their stories matter and, and, and not only that but we will help you make your stories better. If that makes any sense. Yeah that, that's really neat. What I think is so cool about this is that it's yourself and you have two other writers that are going for the cause and Grub Street has such a good reputation um, throughout Boston there have been people who have been published, who yep. have um, worked on their memoirs and novels. And so the, you have this solid background of people like yourself who are published. Uh, and so there's just this institutional growth, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not just like, oh, yeah, here's, you know, someone who's doesn't have a background in writing. Right. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, not yeah. just like uh, who anybody just teaching writing classes it's like an institution that will help you get better and so i think yeah. that's really neat talk to me about how valuable it is to have um well-known people or people with industry insight to help teach these classes yeah that, that's really important part of what we do and you know i think what's been helpful to make sure grub street as an organization has has grown and remained relevant is that the people who teach writing are writers we are practicing writers ourselves, we've written articles, stories, poems, published novels, published memoirs, and uh, myself and the two other writers here in Providence, um, Annie Hartnett and uh, Mark Fogarty, who are offering classes, you know, we this is how we make our living, uh, as well as uh, writing work, writing pieces, we also, um, you know, teach classes, and so we're really there to kind of help demystify the process, and it's not from an academic perspective, it's like a, let's roll up our sleeves, Here's how a story works. Here's how a, no how a novel works. Here's how we break down how a screenplay works. Um, here's how a poem works. Um, and and we, we kind of try to bring our insight and our um, you know kind of expertise and whatever kind of mojo we can we can kind of muster and, and show people that this is something that's important. And I think today people feel like we live in this increasingly divisive world, right? Where um, you know not all voices are welcome at the table. People are angry. People are feeling a little bit distracted by all of their digital devices. And we're, we're basically saying what matters is let's get people in the room together, let's write our stories, let's pay attention to each other, let's listen to each other, um, and let's feel how, I mean, the power of the written word, which is about building building empathy. You know, I, if I can listen to your story, 
and you can listen to my story, um, you know, maybe we'll do some small part in moving forward the, the notion that we all share some common humanity. I think that's super interesting too, um, being able just to share that that written word with each other and then learn how to make it actually good. Yeah. Being able to take, because you know, you can have all these really cool thoughts, but being able to take your thoughts and put it down on the paper or put it down onto your computer or however you choose yep. to do so, being able to do that in a constructive way, I think uh, it's pretty neat to be able to do that. Um, can you talk to me about some of the classes you're offering for starting in January? Sure. Can you talk to me about um, some of the ones that you have? I have them here, but I'm going to let you share. Sure, <laughs> sure. So we, we, we're kind of trying to offer a, a, a variety of classes in a number of different genres and try to see what the folks here in Providence are interested in, in, in taking. And so we have a class uh, called The Novel in Progress, uh, which will be, these are all starting um, on January 29th. Um, and it's about folks who are working on a novel. A lot of people have worked on a novel in their in their spare time. It's sitting there in their a desk drawer or on a virtual folder on their desktop, and they've been burning to kind of finish it. And you know, New Year's is a great time to like make your New Year's resolutions come true. So that's a great class if you have a project like a novel already in progress. We're going to provide weekly um, you know feedback and constructive support on that. We have another class uh, called World Building, which is for the people who might be working on science fiction or fantasy or uh, a screenplay where they really want to learn how to immerse their their characters and their story into the sort of real world. The classes I'm offering are in memoir and in personal essay. So if you have a true story about yourself that you're trying to, to work on, um, again, these are happening every every week. So over time, you get a chance to share your work, take a turn uh, workshopping your piece, which is you know good to get that feedback. And for some people oh, who yeah. haven't done that before, it's a little intimidating. But we're there to be supportive and to offer constructive criticism. It's not just like patting people on the back and saying, good job, you know, that's helpful too, but we want to say, you know, good job, but also let's let's try to make this this writing really shine. Let's make it as good as we can. And so that's really the, the sort of ethos of Grub Street is all about, you know, being being supportive, but also really teaching this craft. How, how do you actually craft these things um, and make each writer feel like, um, you know, they're making progress on these bigger projects. I think that's interesting. And so you offered a few classes this fall. That's right, yeah. And was it just popular, so you decided to add more, or how did it go? And yeah, so you well, you know, honestly, the next step? honestly, you know, people don't exactly know. There's a number of, um, you know, writers out there who, who would like to work on their projects. There's a couple organizations here in Providence, mm -hmm. and it, I would be remiss not to shout out to them. Oh, An yeah. organization called Frequency Writers, which has been here a long time, also offering creative writing classes, and a, another organization called Goat Hill, Goat Hill Writers, which offers workshop. So we don't want to, you know, nose in on their territory and be competitive, yeah. but basically hoping that we can all work together, you know, yeah, as a writing community, community, supportive yeah. community. And, and because people who don't, uh, who may not be familiar with Grub Street, um, there are folks who have come to Grub Street from Providence or commuting into Boston to take classes. Yeah. And uh, we just thought, well, let's, let's see if there's an audience out there. So we're building on that sort of word of mouth. And we did offer a bunch of classes this fall, some of which were well attended, some of which weren't so, but part of the, the process is just Offering consistent programming and saying, "Hey, we're there on Monday nights at School One. Come out and 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 and, and you'll be part of that." And you, you can go to the Grub Street website, uh, which is uh, grubstreet.org, and you know learn about the courses and register for them. Um, but we'll keep offering them, and and you know as long as you have six people in the classroom, we'll run them. So uh, come, and come. teachers always like smaller class sizes. Yeah, right? and that's what's great. Yeah, that's an important part of you know if, you, yeah. if the last class you took was a. Was a you know creative writing seminar or you know lecture course in college, and there were you know forty exactly. people in the classroom. This is not the kind of you know business we're in. We have these small classes where everybody gets uh, sits around a table. It's a small seminar table. People get lots of individual attention, um, and uh, you know you can't do a creative writing class in our view with name more than like ten or twelve people in the room. It just doesn't work. I think that's uh, awesome. So, so I'm hoping that you'll come back. And talk to us maybe about construct how to construct a story. Sure, yeah, I'd be happy to, to do that through here through through your through this uh, yeah. medium we've devised here by yeah. uh, across the I think that'd be good. So. Maybe you can come back in January and, and then we can talk all about goals for New Year, like maybe how yeah. to, like constructing your memoir or constructing like how to how to write your novel or something like We'd that. We'd love to. We'd love that'd to, cool. yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Awesome. Well, all thank right. you so much for joining us, Ethan. If you're interested, we'll provide a link um, to the Grub Street courses and then I'll have a listing as well. So I think it's an awesome opportunity to be able to encourage people no matter what their background is and no matter what their story is, being encouraged people to tell their story no matter what. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Um, everyone, please hang tight as we get ready for our next guest here on Goal of